Hi students, today we are going to start our second topic of physics, magnetic effect of electric current. Next, so first of all, we'll start with the word what is magnet. So my dear student, we know that the bar magnet. So what is bar magnet? Bar magnet is a rectangular piece of object made up of iron steel or any ferromagnetic substance okay this is bar magnet and we know that what is bar magnet because day to day life in sixth or seventh standard also we have used many types of bar magnet isn't it so we'll see some characteristics of bar magnet we know that this is the bar magnet and bar magnet is having some important characteristics like it consists of two poles south and north pole the these two poles are never cannot be or never be separated from each other isn't it and then we can say freely suspended magnet stage or lights north south direction and uh, it is ability or it has ability to attract some small pieces of magnetic substance like iron cobalt nickel etc isn't it so we'll start with this topic that is magnetic effect of electric current but before that my dear student we have already done in last topic Mag electric that is electricity topic heating effect of electric current so we are going to correlate this term with the magnetic effect of electric current so my dear student in heating effect of electric current we have seen or we studied if you pass electric current through any of the conductor it generate heat in that conductor in the same way suppose this is the nail is a conductor metallic nail okay and if you pass some electric current through this metallic conductor then it generate magnetic field around it isn't it so this is called as magnetic effect of electric current isn't it so once again what is magnetic effect of electric current when you pass small amount of current through any of the metallic conductor it generates magnetic field around it it is called as magnetic effect of electric current because we have many times seen that if you connect one battery to the nail the nail becomes magnetized and it can attract the small uh, pieces of iron cobalt like pins also isn't it that experiment we have seen so what is magnetic effect of electric current when electric current flowing in a wire produces magnetic field around it this effect is called as magnetic effect of electric current next then what is magnetic field okay so many times we have seen the examples or we have experienced if you take two types of bar magnet or two bar magnet and if you <coughs> keep with very close with each other both the bar magnet then it's seen that sometimes they both the magnets they attract each other or sometimes they repel okay why do they repel each other because north pole repels north pole like uh, like pole repels and unlike pole attracts we know that but why do they attract and why do they repel because the basic reason is that the magnetic field around it so what is magnetic field now we are going to study the region surrounding a magnet isn't it here we can see the region surrounding a magnet in which the magnetic force is experienced okay in which the magnetic force is experienced is called as magnetic field and this is the reason why the like poles repels and unlike pole attracts so hope i am very clear with the definition the region surrounding the magnet in which the magnetic force is experienced is called as magnetic field and that force we can check or we can uh, practically experience by keeping one magnet near to the other bar magnet isn't it now second the magnetic field is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction such as it is a vector quantity as we know vector cons vector these are the physical quantities are having both magnitude and directions so magnetic field is also vector quantity magnetic field is denoted by symbol b next if you see some characteristics of magnetic field lines now one more question why do they attract or repel 
the other bar magnet we know that due to magnetic field but my dear student magnetic field means what it is the space around the magnet in which the magnetic force is experienced but why do they experience the force next question why do they experience the force because the answer is due to magnetic field lines so my dear student here you can see the space around the magnet in which we can see some number curve lines and these lines are called as magnetic field lines or magnetic line of forces two names two names are there so we'll see some characteristics of these lines okay so first of all magnetic field lines are imaginary closed curve lines around the magnet isn't it these are the imaginary closed and that two curve lines around the magnet and then magnetic field lines appear to start from north and it ends with south pole means magnetic field lines always start from north pole and it ends with south pole and it is indicated by the arrow okay but within the magnet means inside the magnet the magnetic field lines they start from south and ends with the north so here just try to understand the difference my dear student outside the magnet magnetic field lines start from north pole and ends with south pole but inside the magnet as they continue with their directions okay they starts from north pole and ends with south pole so inside the magnet they start from south to north isn't it then magnetic field lines are repel each other okay this is very important characteristics they repel each other okay then they never intersect each other my dear student magnetic field lines they never intersect each other and if they intersect then if they intersect then what is going to happen you know if the magnetic field lines are going to intersect it does mean that if you draw the tangent if you draw the tangent over here okay to the magnetic field lines then it represents two directions of the magnetic field and two directions for the one magnetic field is highly impossible isn't it that's why magnetic field lines are never intersect each other okay so so here we have seen four characteristics first magnetic field lines means magnetic field lines are imaginary closed curve lines around the magnet then magnetic field lines start from north ends with south and inside the magnet they start from south and ends with north pole then magnetic field lines repel each other and very important point they never intersect each other next now fifth characteristics very important if you see the region where the magnetic field lines are crowded if you see here at the poles the magnetic field lines it appears to be crowded they are very close to each other here also you can see isn't it the structure okay what does it mean it does mean that the magnetic field intensity or strength of magnetic field is strong isn't it so what is the fifth characteristics magnetic field lines are crowded at the poles they are crowded at the poles it does mean that strong magnetic field means at poles we can say magnetic field lines are crowded means po at poles the magnetic field is very strong but the space between two poles this is the area between two poles the magnetic field lines are widely separated or rare okay we can say and here we can say the magnetic field is very less okay or very weak so fifth and sixth point my dear student the region where the magnetic field lines are crowded or denser then the magnetic field intensity or strength of magnetic field is more or strong that is at poles six the region where the magnetic field lines are rare or widely separated okay then the magnetic field intensity or strength of the magnetic field is weak or less that is at in between the space between the two poles and here my dear student arrangement of iron filings if you put some iron filings near to the magnet then this structure can be observed okay means at north pole and south pole you can see the crowd okay many iron pieces are been attracted at the poles what does it mean it means that magnet is having strong magnetic field at poles and at center of the pole means we can set the space between the poles the weak magnetic field is there okay next these are the all about the characteristics of magnetic field lines so hope you understood my dear students now next is very important ex experiment we are going to start oersted experiment in 1820 oersted was the first scientist to demonstrate magnetic effect of electric current practically my dear student we know that what is magnetic effect of electric current when you pass small amount of current through the any of the conductor it produces a magnetic field around it isn't it it produces magnetic field around it and this effect is called as 
magnetic effect of electric current but Oersted was the first scientist to demonstrate to show this effect practically so what he has done we'll see okay so we'll see the practical actually he has done so so consider this metallic wire okay here we have uh, given the three figures a b and c figure a the switch is open figure b switch is closed but direction of the current it's anti clockwise here we can see and but figure c the switch is closed but direction of the current is clockwise isn't it so here we can see and one magnetic needle okay with no north and south pole is kept near to the wire or near to the conductor current carrying conductor so my dear student what he has done you know first he has passed some current through the metallic conducting wire okay metallic conductor wire clear by keeping one magnetic needle close to the wire but in first case the switch was open so there is no current so it is seen that there is no deflection in the magnetic needle which is kept near to the wire then in case b he closed the switch so that he allows the uh, allows the flow of the current in clock anti clockwise direction means from this terminal to the this terminal isn't it from positive to negative clear and he observed that magnetic needle is strongly deflected from its axis means here the south pole is repelled by this current carrying conducting wire and north pole is being attracted isn't it but if in case c if we repeated the same experiment with the direction of current in opposite direction then you observe the same deflection in the magnetic needle but in reverse direction means here south pole is being attracted towards the current carrying conducting wire and north pole is being reflected isn't it so from this experiment it is clear that when the if you see in first figure there was no current so no current in the magnetic needle so needle was kept stationary only it was lies stationary only okay but in case b the moment he passed the current through the conducting wire the current carrying wire produced magnetic field or magnetic effect okay magnetic field around it okay and due to this magnetic field it attracts the north pole and it repels south pole isn't it means it gives the strong evidence that current carrying conducting wire or current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it okay in the same way in case c if we or if direction of the current is reversed okay then he observed or he got the same result but in reverse direction of the magnetic needle means here south is being attracted and north is being repelled by the current carrying conducting wire means we can say there are two types of magnetic fields we can produce and magnetic field whatever we are going to produce with the help of current it totally depends on the current okay so this experiment gives the strong evidence of the magnetic effect of electric current this was the first experiment to show the magnetic effect of electric current practically so from this effect my dear student will learn two to three things first listen it very carefully first thing we learn that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it second thing produced magnetic field exert some force on the magnet isn't it here we can see it produces some force on the magnet that's why magnetic needle is being deflected isn't it and third point we learn from this figure the current carrying conductor produces magnetic field but that magnetic field produces it depends on the current depends on the current if the current is maximum then the maximum deflection in the needle is seen and if current is current was very slow or less the sl small deflection of the magnetic needle is seen and fourth point is very important my dear student the direction of deflection means which pole is being attracted and which pole is being repelled is totally depends on the direction of current clear means if suppose if you pass current in anti clockwise direction then north pole is attracted means we can say in this wire it behaves like south pole that's why north is being attracted isn't it but if we change the direction of current then south is attracted means it behaves like north that's why south is attracted so this four point 
we learn from this experiment hope you understood my dear student so today's lecture we have seen introduction of magnetic effect of electric current then magnetic field lines then characteristics of magnetic field lines and posted experiment thank you